Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a run program just like run, just like this, um, in visualbasic.net. So to start off, we're going to create a new project and we're going to choose Windows Form Application. After that, we're going to type in whatever you want. I'm just going to type in run and I'm going to click OK. And after I do that, I'm going to make this smaller and I'm going to type, bring in a combo box. So we're going to find combo box and we're going to drag that in. Now we're going to put that up top and we're going to make that a bit bigger. And we're going to drag in a couple buttons. Well, we're actually just going to drag in one and we're going to make that that big. And we're going to type in and browse. And you see that it put the underline there. So that's, that's how you put the underline there. And you can see in run that it has that underline right there on browse. So now after that, we're going to um, copy that button, and we're going to click Control V to paste it, and we're going to put one there, and click Control V to paste it again, and we're going to put that there. Now we're going to change the text of the first one to OK, and the second one to Cancel. Now after we do that, we're going to code the buttons. Um, or we're just going to move the buttons up to line up with the with the combo box and we're going to resize the form. Okay, now we're going to double click the browse button and we're going to type in dim OFD as new open file dialog and then we're going to type in OFD dot show dialog and then we're going to type in combo box one one dot text equals OFD dot file name and then we're going to type in actually that's it for that and then we're going to go to our OK button and we're going to click on try I mean we're going to type in try and I just double click on the buttons to get to these and we're going to type in process all the code will be in the description. Process.start. One type in combo box one dot text. And now that's there, we're going to type in oh, message box. And we're going to change this to please try a different program. Now this is just say if it can't open a program then it'll try a different one. Now I'm going to show you something. I'm not sure if it'll actually run in run. If we just type in run. No. See there's that or we type in run.exe and see it still don't open. Now you can't actually run that unless you have the file thing. So after that we're going to double click cancel and we're going to type in end. Just one word. And then we're going to double click, well, just w click on it once on the combo box and come over here to the lightning tab that says events and the properties. And we're going to find key down. See? And then you're going to double click on the key down. And we're going to type in if e dot key code equals keys dot enter, then um, we're going to just copy the try from the last one and we're going to paste that into there now after that we're going to type in suppress e dot suppress key press and there that'll be that property must assign property or value I know we're just gonna leave that out for now because I don't remember what the code for was that what that for that was Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and run it. And you can see I can type in run and click enter. And you can see that it makes a whole new one. Eh, that's interesting. Um, oh yeah, because I named this file run. But yeah. And after that, you can type in task MGR for task manager and click OK. And you can see task manager pops up. Or you could type in CMD and click OK and you can see you have that. Now this will show 
Oh, never mind. One second. First, we have to click on the combo box right here. And we have to come back to our properties. And we have to find... Um, autocomplete mode. And we have to change that to suggest. And autocomplete source. We have to change that to history recently used list and now we can start it up and we you can change it to history list if you want but I'm not going to we can just type in um task MGR click OK and you see it pops up and now you can see I don't know why it's not there it should be there well, we're just going to type in history list. We're just going to choose history list. And now we're going to do that again. And we can type in ta task MGR and click OK. And you see it's there. And then we get rid of this. And we just start typing task. Okay, it should show up, but it's not right now. But pretty much that's about it. You can click OK and you see that it'll open from there. And you can get rid of that and you click browse and I'll just open up a image and you can see it's gone. Oops, I didn't mean to click that again. We're gonna try that one more time. And we're gonna click OK. And you can see as it's opening the image up, there it is. Now if you have any questions, wait first one more thing, we're going to click on the form. You can change the text here to run, and then you can go to the size and copy the exact size that you have set, and then you come over here to, where is it at, to minimum size, and control V that into there, and go to maximum size, control V that in there, minimize box, false, and maximize box, false. So now it works just like run. You can see that it doesn't have the minimize or the maximize box there, and open up run. Run doesn't have it either. Now, if you have any questions, please leave a comment um, below this video. And if you like the video, please like the video, of course, and then subscribe. Thanks for watching.